Hello and welcome back to another episode of me talking about stuff. Bristol for talking about stuff. When we entered the studio to record Entropia, we did so with a bunch of songs. Some were old, some were new, but they weren't really written together as a theme. And it wasn't until we were in the studio that we came up with the idea of making a concept album out of it. In those days we had all the song lyrics printed on paper for vocal rehearsals and we each had our own set and I actually managed to find my old set of lyrics uh, with my photo on the back. I don't know if you can see this. I must have been about 17 years old. I haven't changed a bit. And in here you have all the original lyrics to Nightmares and Stress and Winning a War to the End. So when we came up with the idea to make a concept album out of it, we took all the lyrics out and we put them on a table. And we were standing around the table, puzzling with these sheets of lyrics, uh, trying to get the themes and the songs and the keys and everything to work together as a complete concept. And that's how we figured out that we needed more music, more songs to tell the story and make everything complete. So. Leaving Entropia was written right there in the studio, and so was Circles. But not only that, we actually had to rewrite some of the lyrics to make it work. Like uh, Oblivion Ocean, for instance, that's almost completely rewritten from when we entered the studio to when we recorded the vocals. And uh, I have Daniel's handwritten uh, lyrics right here on the back of the original uh, lyrics and uh, he spent days and nights doing this writing music and rewriting lyrics and even put some notes up here it's like a time machine bringing me back to when we're uh, in the studio it says 4 15 at night i was done i started at quarter past 12 at night yesterday i wrote leaving entropia in the studio a lot of changes to night mist people passing by in planes of dawn um I was done about 7 o'clock in the morning and slept till 12.45. The rest were recording guitars and bass. So that was during the recording. This is, this is just amazing uh, documentation right here. And yeah, so that's kind of how um, Circles came to be as well. Uh, it, it's a bass line, starting with the bass line, which I'm going to show you how I play. And the second part is apart from people passing by. And uh, that's how we were rolling back then. So, Circles. Circles is a two-part intermezzo with a bass part, which I'm going to show you, followed by uh, a theme from people passing by. Now, I had to go back and actually listen to this because I had no idea what I was playing because I haven't played this song since we recorded in the studio. We never played it live, we never played it in the rehearsal room, so I had to listen to it and, and kind of figure out what I was doing. So first of all, I, it's the E string is tuned down to D, and then I use a plucking technique uh, on my right hand, kind of like I would do on an acoustic guitar with my thumb, my index finger and my middle finger. And to get more definition, I was using uh, a lot of nails when I did it, it's kind of really plucking it. And the third note is a hammer on on the uh, left hand. So uh, this is how it goes.
Thank you very much for watching. And again, if you have any suggestions about what you want me to talk about, show you, play through or whatever, just put them in the comments below and I'll go through that. And uh, I'll see you the next time. No, well, I can't see you. You can see me. That's, oh. <laughs>